Okay. By age 17, I had climbed every single 14,000 foot mountain in California, including Mount Whitney, which is 14,505 feet at age 14. Kind of a weird family tradition, yeah, I'll admit it. But um, it, was, it was my family's, and growing up with it definitely shaped me to the person I am today, and it taught me really, really valuable lessons, and some that I don't think I would have got otherwise. So the beginning of the, of the excursion to climb all, all of the 14,000 footers in California started with Mount Tyndall, which was 14,026 feet in elevation. Mount Tyndall taught me one of the most pinnacle attributes about myself, which I still try and carry with me today, which is self-sufficiency. And when we were going up to Mount Tyndall, my parents made it exclusively clear, we're not carrying any of your stuff for you, and we're not carrying you up the mountain, so it's on you. And being a dream that I really held dearly, this is something that I was going to make sure I did. And that self-sufficiency and carrying myself through is something that I like to carry with me today. And I, I like to consider when I'm going into anything that could be difficult. The next lesson I learned from mountain climbing was Mount Langley, at another mountain that is 14,026 feet exactly. And this was about two-thirds of the way through the, the endeavor to climb all the 14,000 footers. So I was starting to wind down. The initial excitement and eagerness to climb all the mountains was, was starting to wane and you know I was like I'm 14 and I've already climbed eight. I don't do I need to do more? No. You know, so I had that doubt in my mind. But when the time came and the six months mark rolled around and we were about to get ready to go and we were packing up, I said, you know, yes I am gonna do Mount Langley. And I went with my parents and we started climbing. It was the best decision I ever made. It taught me that perseverance, even when you feel like you've already accomplished your goal, but seeing it through was incredibly important. It was something I could bring through in the rest of my life, be it sports, academics, um, anything of that sort. And finally, Mount Shasta was the last mountain I climbed in the 14,000 foot series. And I faced the worst blizzard of my life, life-threatening circumstances, like negative 50 temperature, 80 mile an hour wind, but we climbed it regardless. and. It showed me that the combination of perseverance and self-sufficiency can equal confidence. And that confidence can be applied to anything. And while it is, yes, a weird family tradition, um, you know, it is my family tradition. I wouldn't trade it for a thing. Hey, Jesse, what is it that you'd like to work on this quarter? Uh, filler words. Okay. I just did. Um, and definitely like pre-speech planning, uh, working on that a little bit better, because I get too confident being able to like improv. Okay. But. All right. Anything else? That's about it. Okay. Did the seventy-two hour window help with regards to the pre? Uh, it was a little difficult. I'm pretty active. Uh, I wish it was like an entire day thing, but it did help definitely. It let me get on top of it for sure. Um, yeah, no, definitely it did help. How do you feel like the speech went? I felt like it went pretty good. Okay. I think it went a little bit better, but... Okay, what was pretty good about it? Um, I feel like I fit a lot into a little bit about time, um, okay. which is kind of an extensive topic, so, yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, audience, if you could, please, offer some feedback. Yeah. Really good volume and pace. Thanks. You need volume. Okay. Yeah. But you were really calm which is really good because you would also use filler words, including the word and, in the middle of it, when you could just use it as silence. That'll be a lot more powerful. Okay, thanks. Um, you mentioned like you are like you tend to improv things, and agreeing with Ray, said you were really confident in seeing like you really knew what you were going to say before you said it. I thought it was really encouraging overall. Appreciate it. I liked how your first, um, I guess your first paragraph Yeah, it's like one of those like subconscious habits where I do this. And, yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Jesse, uh, first of all, one thing that stood out to me was you, you had a, a, a nice, some really nice like, descriptive language. Uh, you know, if you were to just say, you know, our family hikes together, 